Yeah. Look at the view, it's totally different. You see it? Yeah. Now that is your 90% of the aim. I'd like your bridge up here, by the way. So we'll get your bridge to there. Now get up again from there, get up from there. Uh, right, now we're there. You've put your tip to the you've put your tip to the white ball. Okay. Right? Have it how you want it, your arm, I don't care. You've gone from there now. This is your aim in. Now chest of Q. Very good. Alright? Now you do your cut the feathers, whatever you want to do. Alright? Straight as a die, look. Mm. No side on that, was it? No. Normally I go over that way. Right. Now that's because... That's the, you know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of the way Mark Williams, when he gets down on the shot... Johnny Higgins does it really like that. Yeah. Really puts it. No, never, it's, it's an aspect of the game I've never... Right, it's so aiming. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you a little, uh, I'm going to give you a little routine to sharpen that up. Right, we're going to pop that ball in the middle bag. Okay. You come down. So, here. now all I want you to think of is aiming. Okay. So I want you to walk in, put your foot on that line. So the line to pop that ball is coming through here. Yeah. Yeah. Your foot goes on the line. And let me get around this side so I can just watch it. Right. Okay. Foot goes on the line. Tip to the ball. Aiming. Chest to Q. Shut eyes. Now hit it. All right. Yeah. Now you rely totally on your CCP to pop that yeah. ball. Yeah. 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 That's good. So walk in again. Foot goes on the line. Tip to the white ball. Aim in. Chest to Q. Shut eyes. Hit it. And how's that feel? That's good. So this is an interesting take on it. I've never, never you put the Q online. Your CCP's gone there. That Q so cannot be. Really, so previously, what? You was another habit I used. To, another style I used to use was I used to, and it is like I sort of bring the Q up to the yeah. neck like that, and that throws the Q right off. Well, you've just pulled your Q off. Yeah. Like you haven't got a Q. You haven't got a clue where your Q is. Yeah. Basically. So it's, it's yeah. a habit. It's a good habit. What so if, what I'm doing is I'm aiming. Aiming on the way down, and chest then, to Q, that's it. Well, that's, that's... You've aimed it on the way in. Mm, I like that. It's massive. Now mm. this is a dummy. Now, your dummy to make you do this, to Shift. stop you throwing in, is tip to the ball, to the chest contact point, and then... before you feather. And that's your dummy to think of. In yeah. 10 minutes you will not be able to go do back what you used to do. You won't be able to do it. So walk in now, foot on line, tip to the ball, Aiming, chest to Q. That's it. Now you do your cut the feathers or you do whatever you want to do. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. Okay, that's aiming. That, that, see, because I, I think my fault is queuing across the ball, the line of the shot. Mm. And what you're saying about bringing the cue to the chest before I aim sounds like that could be. The pop, that's what, that's yeah. what. The cue, look, Mohammed always goes to the mountain. The mountain never comes to Mohammed. Mm. The Q never comes to the chest. The chest always goes to the Q. Never heard that before. Ever. No, it's way out coach. Okay. The last twenty years. Brilliant. All right, that's good. Now that's aiming. Okay. Now the three sections that we're looking at: aiming, Q action, and pressure. Okay. Now we've done the aiming. Now the aiming's out the window. That's it. Tip to ball. Aim on the way down. Chest to Q. Now while you're thinking of that, the dummy for that is tip to the ball. Don't move the Q until my chest. When, I get, when you see Henry's waistcoat, you see a shiny waistcoat. Mm. Right, you see a shiny waistcoat. The reason it's a shiny waistcoat there is because that's that's holding the queue online. Steve Davis, we used to, Bill Davis, Steve Dad, an old mate of mine, mm. he's told me Steve used to wear a hole in the jumper years ago. Mm. You know, that's so important, that CCP. Yeah. And you've got it, you get down nice and low, you've got your chest on the queue, it's good. Yeah. Right, now we're forgetting about aiming now, okay. all right? We're not going to forget about how to do it, yeah, we're forgetting but, about yeah. the aiming now. Now what I'm going to explain to you now is, is about cue action. Okay. Okay. Now with cue action, there's two ways of playing snooker. There's driving and pecking, basically. Yeah. Now a driver, I'll show you a pecking action first. Now I'm putting the wire outside the bulk line. So the back of the wire is on the bulk line. And the reason I'm putting it there, A, the bridge, the perfect bridge length is there as well. This, yeah? Okay. Within a centimetre of there, most pros, you had a very long bridge. Now, because you had a very long bridge, any little movement here would have been exaggerated at the other end because of the big 
the big bridge. Any little movement would have massive. Now, if we get you there, it's not so bad. And that's where you want to be anyway. That can, you can create every shot from there. Yeah? Anything okay. you want to ask me, you can ask me. Stop me, yeah? Okay. Right. Now, I'm going to explain to you. Because we've got a rail, the natural cue plane is to follow the slope and come down and through parallel. Mm. All right? So it's follow the slope. I'm not saying pick it up. Yeah. What I am saying is not to drop it. Okay. People will say, oh, the cue should be parallel to the table at all times. It's bullshit. Mm. You follow the slope and then it comes through parallel on follow through. Okay. You understand that? Yes. Right. Now, a pecker will take the cue back, grip the cue hard, drop the elbow on takeaway, gripping the cue hard, yeah. drop the elbow on takeaway, come back and come back up and stop at his chest. Okay. All right? He's actually playing from down to up. There's another coach, I won't mention his name on the tape, but he, they have the case dropping the, the, the um, elbow. On, on the... takeaway? Yeah. Right, well, I don't. Okay. That's it. So I can tell you on the tape, I don't. <laughs> I promote driving. <laughs> okay. But if you're telling me Ronnie O'Sullivan's queuing wrong, I'll, I'll, I'll argue like with you. I Ronnie's queue, actually. Well, he's yeah. a driver. I yeah. told Ronnie when he was 19 years old, the way you play will be textbook, but I didn't realise I'd be writing the textbook. Yeah, wicked. So I'm going to show you a pecking action. Okay. And you, you see how much ball a tip comes through the ball. So a pecker is holding the, holding the grip quite tight, drops the elbow, comes back up and hits to his chest. Now, I've got that much through the ball. Mm. I've dropped the cue, I've come down, I've stopped at my chest. That's not how you play. Mm. That's a pecker. Okay. Now, the best pecker I've ever known in the game is Peter Ebden. He's yeah. a good friend of mine, I've coached him, we won the world, but he's a pecker, and he knows he's a pecker, <laughs> and the thing is about a pecker, he has to practice 24 hours a day just to groove it. Yeah. You're dropping the cue, you're hitting to your chest, you're actually quitting, as you're going through the ball, you're not accelerating, you're slowing down because you're going to hit your chest. Okay. That's a pecker, down to up. Now a driver follows the cue, follows the cue up the slope, uncocks the hand, Mm. And what shuts the hand, the elbow stays up on takeaway. Yeah. On follow through, the elbow drops, shuts the hand, and you come through and under and through parallel. This is how you play. Okay. Now I've explained it how you play, you will do it even more. Right? So this is a drive. I'm on there, aiming, chest to cue. Couple of waggles, front pause, uncock the hand, the elbow stayed up, and I'm going to drive down and through. Now I've come through parallel. Right? That's come through. I can't get it no more parallel of it, the rail. Mm. Look how much tips come through the ball. Mm. So I've accelerated through the ball. Can you see that? Yeah. Instead of hitting at it. So you tell me whether I'm pecking or driving. Well, you're obviously driving, aren't you? I am then, mm. but tell me what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a couple of actions, you tell me. And oh, look okay, at, yeah, yeah. Look at the elbow and look at the hand. Mm. What did I do? You didn't drop the elbow on the back tape. I didn't. I pecked. Yeah. So, so all you want you shout out, peck. All right. Right? So I'm here again. There. Drop it. Hit to the chest. Peck. That's it. Now you've seen the peck. Mm. Right. I want you to know the difference. Now watch. Was it a peck again? Was no, it? that was a drive. Even though it was a little one, 